25 years experience working with individuals ranging from professional athletes to celebrities to professional businessmen and women to students, all of whom have a desire to make significant changes in their lives. Cody has a PhD and received her certification in clinical hypnotherapy from the National Board of Hypnotherapy and Hypnotic Anesthesiology. She is a published author, has appeared on national television and radio, as well as hosting her own radio station here in Denver on 103.1 FM, and has received training by some of the world's most respected and talented minds in the field of clinical hypnotherapy, both here and in India and in the Far East. I present to you Cody Ford. Thank you. Jim is looking down, but 
Um, I think he said he was an uh, ophthalmologist and at the State of, uh, University of Iowa, uh, the uh, department there decided to adopt hypnosis. So it's a natural state of phenomena. And if you ever get a chance to try it, 15 minutes of hypnosis is like an hour of hypnosis. So I won't continue any further, except that I will, um, you know what, I do want to show you this. Because there's nothing to be afraid of as far as the trance state goes. And here it is, scans show how hypnosis affects brain activity. Now some of you may be able to see this and some not, but these, there is some highlighted area here. This person is an MRI machine. They're under the state of hypnosis. They're beginning, being given suggestions. And it's showing how the neurotransmitters in the mind are firing off. So that's what you do to yourself. We are imprinted, and then we believe our own marketing programs. We start using self-hypnosis on ourselves. I can or I can't, either way you're right. So when you come to see somebody such as myself, I want to find out what your problem is, because within that problem is the solution. I reframe it and I fire it back into our mind, and then you walk away. Now, yes, it doesn't work continually, because I can't hold your hand if you go back into that same scenario. So I give you tools and strategies to be able to work, but that's what we do with our minds. So I'd like to ask for some volunteers up here, and let's see if we can show our audience. That, now, there's nothing to be afraid of. Just come on up. Just anybody that wants to try it, come on up. Um, there's nothing to be afraid of. Yes, I'll put them in, too, as a, a light stain trance. I'll ask them to do something. I'm not going to do anything really embarrassing. I have done hypnosis shows where I make people do some funny things. But if, if you can, though, please bring these chairs right sit right next to each other. Yeah, listen, you just need another chair, though. And, and I need for you to put it exactly together like that. There we go. Put, push it together. There you go. Yeah, we got a chair. We'll get you another chair, Adams. Go ahead and sit down. Take a seat. I apologize, but you're going to see my back because I have to put these people in a nice state of trance. So it's going to take me a minute. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> okay. All right. So have any of you been here time before? Okay. Well, <laughs> oh, that's cool. Now that, you know, he... This is what Carter said when he met his wife. See, I think all the women should become hypnotists so we don't have to be illusionists. <laughs> well, it's true. I mean, all of a sudden you wake up, you, you, you know, you meet a gal, she's different, she goes to bed, you wake up with somebody totally different. So if we hypnotize you, just like Carter said, you're going to think, you know, it's just awesome all the time. So basically what I want you to do is put your hands uh, I'm separate your legs here. Put your hands on your knees, please. And I want you just to focus on me. Focus on me. Do not talk to each other. I only want you to focus on me. Now, you know that there's an audience out there. How much time do I have, Deb? 20 minutes. Okay. Oh, we got plenty of time. So, it's, you know, it's a really neat state of mind. So, really work on, you know, just going along with what I have you to do as far as getting into this really relaxed state. Because it, you're going to be surprised how wonderful things you feel. So what I want you to do is I want you to focus on this ring. Do not take your eyes off this ring. Continue to focus on this ring. Continue to look intently at this ring. Now you know there's an audience out there, but you don't care about them. All you care about is the sound of my voice and watching the screen. Just let the sparkly ring make your eyes go lazy, lazy, droopy, drowsy. Now I'm going to need everybody just to be really quiet for me for a moment so everybody can concentrate. And then um, you can make all the noise you want. Continue just to focus on this. Your eyes are becoming lazy, droopy, drowsy. Take a good deep breath. And as you exhale, allow that relaxation to engulf you. Now, if your eyes feel like closing down, go ahead and just close them down. And if you close your eyes down, 